I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. For Saturday, April the 2nd, our scripture reading comes from the third chapter of Philippians, verses 4b through 14. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a per persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as lost because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having any righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes from through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God blessed based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his suffering by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus had made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly, call of God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Confidence turned upside down. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more, verse four. I have heard them called bona fides, those credentials Paul rolls out in this passage. His Jewish pedigree would have stood up against anyone's. But when he came to know Jesus Christ, his former confidence crumbled to dust. Whatever gains I had, he wrote, those I have come to regard as lost because of Christ. Verse 7. I got a child-sized taste of Paul's lessons long before I knew his story. When my sixth grade teacher introduced us to Greek mythology, she said we know the name of the ancient goddess of harmony when we thought of the music of a merry-go-round. Writing the name on the board, she asked if anyone could pronounce it. My hand shot up and I confidently said Calliope. Only, my version sound more like antelope. Giggles erupted in the classroom. I was humiliated. Paul, with his sterling qualifications as a Jewish scholar, realized his confidence seat needed to rest on something more than his bona fides. In time, he was able to say before, to say he'd been wrong and declare with new confidence that belonging to Jesus was worth everything our prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for making me your own. May my confidence always be founded in, in you. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.